Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's continue on the sand zone. We got ourselves a puppy. We got ourselves some panties. We are good to go. So here we go. I'll just continue on towards the right here and shoot your way through these blocks. Shouldn't cause you much trouble whatsoever. But you're going to have to start, by the way, we're going to be going through here later, just saying. Anyway, you're going to have to start looking out for these new critters here. You want to shoot one block out just like that. And then take a weapon that can, uh, you know what, that works. <laughs> um, what, these are Polish enemies. They split into these tinier enemies there. Their little ones are extremely weak, but you don't want to try and get past the big one without killing the little ones first. Uh, don't try to get past the big one without just, I mean, you know, just like walking through it. They are very mobile. You don't want to mess around with them. Anyway, as you can see, there is a life capsule up here of which I am going to collect. Yay! And that makes me happy. Five life increase. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> and by the way, wherever you see sand with a little skeleton next to it, don't jump into the spot. That's why, sand crocs. And yeah, as, as you can see, they're quite a problem here. Uh, they're like a trap enemy in a way. When you stand on the sand that they are at, they will chomp at you quite ruthlessly, like so. Uh, ooh, this one's got two Polish enemies. That might be a problem. Run, 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 run. Oh, 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 okay, I'm safe. By the way, there's only two life upgrades in this area and no missile upgrades, so don't worry about exploring this place too much, unless you really want to. So I'm just going to uh, rush through this place, just to keep things nice and short, nice and easy. There's a save up there, in case you don't see that. I'll show you how to get up to there, and those spikes will hurt if you land them on them. They won't be a one-hit kill, though, so don't worry about that. And just save your game up here, just to be safe. There we go. Safe for save. And you'll notice that these blocks with paw prints next to them, you can go through. Yep, just saying. Anyway, you want to go up above all these Polish enemies just to kind of keep yourself safe and away from them. Though there's this one over here that might cause you a little bit of trouble. And there we go. Just make yourself a little guardian shield of death. Holy cow, it does 10 damage. Holy pooper scoopers. That is a lot. <laughs> Um, I can see that there's a ooh, sand croc over there, and there's some of these uh, press enemies here. Those are going to cause a little bit of trouble, aren't they? Oh, and I just hit a hidden spot over here, if you didn't see that. L look at this. See that? Whenever you hear that, that means that there's something that you can shoot in mid-air that's invisible and will show when you uh, shoot at the thing. And okay, health is refilled. Oh shoot, I've got a level 1 polar star right now. That is not good. Because the boss that's coming up requires that you hit him pretty hard and fast. So yeah, let's just try and get some tortilla chips here. Uh, that helps a little bit, I guess. I guess I could use my fireball for this boss too. Let's just see, see if I can get anything from here. No! So I guess I'm going to have to live with something. I guess I could use my missiles. Anyway, this boss is Omega. Dramatic quieting of the music. I see Balrog failed in his duty. And it's misery. Hmm. You look like quite a fighter. But at this juncture, you're proving yourself rather a nuisance. Shall we settle this? Question mark exclamation point. No, there's no need for me to get involved. This is why! It's a ginormous trap inch! You can only damage it when its mouth is open like that. And uh, these red ones, I mean the things, these gears or whatever that are red, you can shoot at them. Uh, the ones that are completely filled in, like that one that's just above my head there, you can't shoot at. Um, when you shoot at them, they give you a lot of energy here. Uh, so that'll definitely come in handy. And may I add that this boss, a lot of people have trouble with. I don't know why, especially if you have good weapons before you come to the boss, so yeah. And now it's going to start jumping. Don't get underneath it when it jumps, that would hurt quite a bit, but that should be pretty obvious. There you go, just run under it when you start to get cornered like that. And I'm at level level 1 again, so I'm going to start... Oh shoot, missile! Missile, missile! And... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, I almost got cornered there, but that's okay. A okay, fireball. Fireball should do pretty good here, especially since it's at level 3. I'm just switching the weapons as I'm taking damage here, just because, you know, it's 
I'd, rather than getting uh, tortilla chips to refill my weapon energy, I might as well just uh, go through them like that. And there we go! Omega is done! <coughs> Happy days! Alright, now we gotta go back. And it says the spell and the sunstones have been lifted, and those things that I showed you way back that I said we're gonna open up, those are the sunstones that I'm referring to, and- Oh, come on, you're telling me I can't jump up there once I break some of those blocks? Come on, now! Bubble. There we go. Oh, I just want to refill my health as I go back because you know there's a lot of dangerous enemies there. Okay. I should be able to just like power my way through this Polish guy. And here we go. And come on, come on, come on. Booyah! Yeah! I love the level 3 bubbler. It's so much fun. And we're just going back. And I'm not even going to bother going to save and heal ba back at uh, Curly's place over there. I'm just going to run back to uh, the save point here because I already healed way back there anyway. So and then I'm going to... Hello. Let me... Thank you. Yay! I was wondering if I'd ever get that. It was like a blind selection thingy anyway. And there's this one guy, little guy left over there and I'm going to... To deter that sand croc from getting in my way there. Um, I should also mention you can stand on them once your mouth or mouths are closed without any trouble. They only go back into the sand when you shoot at them like that, so be careful. Wait, oh yeah, I killed that one. Never mind. What am I so worried about there? Alright, now these are the sunstones. Voila! Let's go down. And these are skull heads right here. Uh, just let them pass by. They don't they aren't really much of a threat, as you can see. They're just they just move left and right. And I should be really powering up my polar star here. Anyway, this is Jenka's house. Boink! Yay! Let's go in and chat it up with her. How's it going, Jenka? Yes, I do have one of your puppies. We're gonna have to find four more of them! I'm not kidding you. And they're gonna be annoying. Oh god. In case you didn't realize, huzzah is Balrog's catchphrase. And it looks like they seem to know each other here. They seem pretty friendly with each other, too. Hmm. And, uh, huh. Oh no, you're not getting the key to the storehouse where the flower seeds are kept. Wait, actually, she does seem to know where that key is, doesn't she? Oh boy, I think he's gonna be back. Okay, let's chat it up with Jenka now. <sighs> so there's actually four others, four more puppies, and her hips are weak, so I guess I have to find her four puppies. Of course, I always have to do the duty of other people. She may be the owner, but she's not very good at being an owner. And you'll notice that there's a fireplace here. You can't do anything with that, so don't even bother checking it. I just thought I would point that out because I checked that on my first playthrough. And I'm going to shoot my way through here. Oh, we only leave one block openings for these skull heads here because they will... I mean, they won't fall down through here, excuse me. And what you want to do is climb over to that paw print block for your first puppy. Just go through here and continue on through this secret path throughout the mountainside or whatever the heck this thing is right here and you've got yourself a life capsule this is the last one in the area so you don't have to worry about exploring anywhere else except for to collect puppies and inside a treasure chest it's a puppy yeah <laughs> anyway now what you gotta do is take it back over to Jenka now a lot of people think at first, hey, we can just go and get all the puppies at once, right? WRONG! You've actually got to go back and forth to get the puppies. So, if you ever try to get another puppy, and you won't be able to pick it up. So, let's just go back to Jinka here and drop off another puppy. Yay! Three more to go, and now she's going to tell me a little more about the story of this game. It wasn't long ago that hundreds of robots like you came to this island. Countless Mamigas. I keep saying, m um, and like Enigma, but it's actually Mimigas. It, I'm just gonna keep saying uh, Mamigma or something like that as a force of habit anyway, but I'm gonna try to say Mamiga from now on <laughs> anyway. They, a lot of them perish at their hands, as did the humans who tried to protect them. Corner, the Mimigas finally ingested the forbidden red flowers, and in their murderous rage began to strike back at the robots. Had the red flowers not existed, 
the Mimigas might have vanished entirely from the island. Three more left. Good luck. Thank you. Now, what you want to do actually is get the furthest puppy first. Uh, this will just make things a lot easier for you, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna like explore this area as far forward as I can. And by the way, um, there's a whole load of stuff that you can use to recover both your weapons as well as your health in this area here. So be sure to come in here and collect things if you need it. Like you can see missile refills and stuff like that. Anyway, you go down here, and what does the sign say? This way to the sand zone storehouse. This is the storehouse that uh, Balrog was referring to earlier. These are carried by these birds. These skull heads are carried by these birds. And once you kill the skull head, uh, the, s the bird starts going crazy towards you and vice versa for the skull head. Though the skull head doesn't really home in much towards you like the birds do. So don't worry about them too much. Uh, they're actually pretty weak enemies, just kind of like a little bit a little bit wary to uh, get through them without taking a hit. Oh boy, oh boy, and that's a new kind of enemy. I forgot their name. I'll have stats on them as well. Oh god. <laughs> and here's a skull step. Uh, it's a walking skull head. Oh, who would have guessed? You know, the whole pun of skull step and whatnot. Um, now you have to go through here to progress forward. Just try and kill this guy without taking hits from his bones, and there we go. And this is why I'm gonna get the furthest puppy first, because then I can cut around and show you the puppies that are in the middle, uh, rather than having to go back and forth each time, and you know, just cut towards the next path that I'm gonna be taking. I figured it'd make things a little bit easier to uh, edit as well as film for you guys. So that's why I'm going to get the oh boy, getting the first one for uh, the furthest one first. And what you want to do here, Bubbler is really good against these things. See, they're all in your way like that? Well, because you've got like a scatter shot weapon, you just go right through them without any trouble whatsoever. Um, whenever they take damage, they start going after you, so be aware of that. Uh, but they're still so very weak that you really don't have to worry about them all that much. As you've seen, I didn't take any damage on my way here. I'm doing a lot better than I expected, and there's my damage! <laughs> well, I got my level up back to the level 3 bubbler, and there we go. Let's Carefully work our way around, hit the instant death spikes, and come on, come on, come on. I would like to kill you, thank you. And do not get killed by instant death, and there is a puppy that we can pick up. We can't jump up there normally. We gotta use these blocks, and then from here, all you have to do is grab the puppy and go back to Jenka. Hello, little puppy. Yes, I will, and it's awake now. Um, over here, you can recover your health, as well as save your game, which I recommend that you do on your way back. And let's go back. Um, the path back is basically the same way as going there, so don't worry about getting lost or anything. In fact, it's easier going back than it is going forward, so let's just go forward. Back to Jenko with the puppy. Here you go. It's another one. Yay! She's so happy. Now there's only two left. Have you ever seen a frenzied Mimiga? I said it again! Mimiga! Yes, I have! Th those are those Rabbles as well as the Igors that you've seen around there. And yeah! So, what happens with, when you eat a red flower? Yeah, they can't control their own actions and they become quite ruthless. They don't know what they do and yeah. That's why they can't get the red flowers. Anyway, let's go back. Well, after a quick save here, let's get some more puppies. Okay, the next puppy that you can get at this upper route, go up here. Would you look at that? There's a little, couple little puppy blocks over there. Let's go over to this shack here. And the puppy goes inside to hide. And this place is pitch black! Anyway, what you want to do over here is save your game and find your way up through here, I believe. Path is eh, eh. path somewhere. There we go. I'm looking for path through the ceiling. This is kind of tricky to get the hang of. Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 Sandcrock! Wait, can I use you to get up there? I don't think so. And by the way, they got a very leaky roof here. In case you don't see that. Oh, that act, that leaky roof there actually pushes you down. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Who knew that water was that powerful? You know, the little tiny drips of water. Okay, get up here. There we go. The puppy is not happy to see me. Get the puppy and leave the shack. 
go back to Jenka. No problem whatsoever. Here we are, puppy number four. Oh, they love me. Oh, isn't that adorable? And uh, yeah, I am kind of after the storehouse key to prevent the uh, red flowers from getting stolen, or at least I'm hoping. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. only one left, all right. Let's go back and get the last puppy. This one's really easy to get to. Okay, continuing on this lower path here, you're gonna come across, oh boy, not the bones. <laughs> you're gonna come across those enemies as well as a puppy. Well, you wanna kill off this guy before you attempt to get the puppy. Um, this one isn't hard to get, it's just that you have to press down at just the right time in order to pick him up. Come on. Don't run, don't run. Oh, no, 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 come back me! No! No! <laughs> so, yeah, you gotta press down to pick him up. You have to catch him. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, poopers, those dang bones threw me off. You, you die. You definitely are gonna die for that one. Okay, let's wait for the puppy. It's coming back. Yes, I got it. Back to Jenko. All right, here we go. What happened? All the puppies I collected, and he stole the storehouse key, so Jenka did have it all along. This is not good. We not only lost the storehouse key, but also all the puppies. Don't worry, you don't have to collect them again, but she does have one puppy now. Oh, it's so sad. Alright, we gotta go get the storehouse key. Well, we gotta prevent the red flowers from being stolen. This is a life pot that she gives you. Um, you can use this to recover your health completely anytime that you want to. Uh, if you ever do use it though, you can come back to her to get another one. Yay! You can just go to your inventory here, select it like this, and yeah, if you select yes, you'll use it, otherwise no. Anyway, we gotta go back to the storehouse. Alright, here we are. Let's go in. Oh, I should have saved my game first. Dang it! Well, hopefully this will go well. My lord, I have brought all the seeds as you requested. Well done. By the by, the flowers that bloom there. Are those the demon flowers? Indeed. My, my. They're more uncanny than I even I imagined. My lord. Shall I consume one as a test? No, let us not do that. Hmm. Instead, let us test the reaction on a Mimiga. Yes, my lord. Taraco! Oh! Where am I? Oh boy! Cut off! Oh, oh! Where do you think you're going? Balrog, feed this one a flower. You got it. No! Stop! Eat it, eat it! Get your hands off her! It's King, and he's not useless after all! Well, kind of. Taraco, are you okay? K king She doesn't look too good. Oh, my, my head! Oh, no! You, you're that doctor. Why, yes, I am the doctor. And from now on, I am your new leader. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Now, what exactly is it you plan to do with that sword? Mm hmm. I'll kill you! And he remains as useless as ever. My, are they really so fragile before the rage takes them? Oh, didn't I just enter that door? Oh, like, no, never mind. Maybe this, is hap this happened just as I was entering. You're the soldier from the surface. You've come at a splendid time. Here, they're all yours. Oh, no, no. Don't thank me. Have fun, you three. This is Frenzy Taraco, the boss of the area. She throws blocks, she jumps, she doesn't hurt you very much when, you, when she does touch you. And whenever those blocks land, a red flower will appear from where they landed. So that could be quite a problem. The blocks also block your shots, ironic enough by their name. And she shoots them exactly where you're standing last. So you'll be able to avoid them uh, pretty easily, I would say, because you can predict where they're gonna go. And just keep shooting. I got nice level three polar star going on here. And power, 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 power through it, power through it. Aw, oh, 
She's got a lot of HP, and look at how frenzied she is. Oh boy. <laughs> and that. Oh shoot! Level down. Level down. That doesn't matter. The boss is over. Wait a second. Unfortunately, Taraco died because of that fight. That's kind of sad because I like doing her voice. Anyway, ugh, it's too late for me. Will you avenge me? King also died, and you get the blade. This is an extremely good weapon, and I'll be showing that off a little bit later. Uh, I don't think there's anything more to do in this place, so let's just leave. Huzzah! Oh god, he got me this time. Sorry! <laughs> I don't think he's actually sorry. So, you're alive. You remind me of the one back then. A tough little robot just like you. I can see confronting you directly just makes things complicated. To the labyrinth with you. And you as well. Huh? Huh? Yeah, she sent me and Balrog to this new place. Ho ho ho, that, heavens, that felt good. And I hit the ground. That kind of hurt, I think. And here we are, which I'm going to start exploring in the next part. So I'm going to shoot this to get a little safe here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.